They began as traffic stops. They ended with officers using force to make arrests. Today, Grand Rapids Police released that body and dash cam video from both incidents. When videos first surfaced on social media, there were a lot of people who believed these were examples of excessive force by police. 13 on your side's Nina Nassaro has more. The Grand Rapids Police Department released body cam and dash cam video of two incidents involving force in order to give the public a better understanding and idea of both cases. The first one happened near the corner of Hall and Madison, and the other one happened right here near California and National. Good, I'm Officer Stevens. Stop for speeding today on Fulton. Give your license registration. Body cam video from March 17th shows an officer pulling over a driver for speeding. Yeah, I was doing 35 and I couldn't catch you. So that's hey, I was like, going fast. I'm okay, there. well, that's between you, me, the video, and my speedometer. So After repeated attempts of asking for a driver's license and to identify themselves, the driver refuses. Stop digging around and listen to me. I'm looking for the, the, the stuff for you. Okay, well, I need to know your name because you're driving a vehicle. The officer asks the driver several times to exit the vehicle. Step out of the car, you're under arrest. I'm going to break the window. The officer breaks the window. Step out of the car. The driver finally gets out of the vehicle and another officer appears to tase him. The next use of force incident happened on March 25th near Hall and Madison. Officers were investigating a fight in the area and attempted to stop this car. Officers made contact with the five occupants of the vehicle and explained the reason for the stop. In an interview, police addressed the incident the day after it happened. During that investigation, it was determined that a male passenger had a valid warrant for his arrest. This passenger allegedly refused to get out of the vehicle and a struggle ensued, leaving both the officer and the man on the ground. The individual resisting arrest and the arresting officer struggle in the roadway as vehicles pass by, creating a very unsafe situation for everyone involved. Police say he began scratching at the officer's face, neck and throat and also tried to reach for the officer's weapons before biting the officer on the arm. The officer continued to struggle with the individual and the other four occupants started to exit the vehicle. The video shows the others trying to pull the officer off of the suspect and interfere in the arrest. One actually gets around the officer's partner and starts yanking on the officer who's on top of the individual on the ground. Police say that second officer is attempting to keep the others in the vehicle from interfering while at the same time helping his partner arrest the suspect. The actions of this individual the officers had to react to that. Both arrests are being reviewed by the Internal Affairs Unit, Labor Relations Department, and the Chief of Police. In Grand Rapids, I'm Nina DeSaro, 13 on your side.